At the Holocaust Memorial in Berlin, visitors are confronted with Germany's Nazi past. History has shaped Germany's relations with Israel, but how do Germans view ties today? I think it's important that our dealings with one another take on a certain normalcy, like with any other country, but without forgetting the past. Germany has historically had a responsibility towards Israel, but I think that relationship evolves with each passing generation. I was born in 1960, so there's a, I don't want to say distance, but a different relationship. There's no end in sight where we can come clean and say we're out of the woods. I don't see that happening. But a majority of Germans think differently. 60% say Germany does not have a special obligation to Israel. Only one-third say it does. During a visit to Israel, German Chancellor Angela Merkel told the country's parliament that Berlin would guarantee Israel's right to exist. In specific terms, that means Germany has provided special weapons, like submarines. But the German public is increasingly skeptical. Delivering weapons to Israel has a nasty aftertaste because you know exactly where they'll be used. How much do you have to hold back? I think there are a lot of things Israel does politically that Germany can't condone. In the political landscape, Germans have different opinions, and their relations with Israel are sure to remain sensitive terrain.